Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm 21 years old. I'm an aspiring writer slash anything to do with creativity. Um, I'm from South London, but I'm in Manchester today at Halle St. Peter's. I'm at a Music for Cities concert. I think about uh, making a change in my society is something that's so important, especially like I'm from London and like inner city London is where the community spirit is not high at all. And I feel like that's why we have a lot of social issues like gang crime, like unemployment, just young people just off track. And I feel like that is something that we really need to really push us, get our communities together. Because without that, then what are young people going to fall for? They're going to just go into the bad stuff and they're not going to think that they can do. Um, I expect to experience and discover today, you know what? I don't really know, but I'm hoping to discover that community spirit is still alive. I am Greg Davis. This is Music for Cities. We're changing young lives one song at a time. What role I have to play in making a difference in my community is um, I should just try and be a mentor for younger people. I think no matter what you do, you have to just set a certain, set a certain standard and that's something I'm going to try and do. Hi Greg, nice to meet you. Hello. As you know, I've just come from London and I have no idea what this is about. So can you fill me in on what Music for Cities is Yeah, about? Music for Cities. Manchester has got a, a, a massive musical pedigree. I think one thing that Manchester is famous for worldwide yeah is the musicians and, and the musical uh, styles that have come out of Manchester between the 80s and the 90s. One of the things that we felt we could do in Manchester, if you, if you bear in mind all the problems that inner cities have got, mm, yeah, and I think you've only got to say the, t the, the term inner city, and I think straight away you conjured up negative images yeah, of, of uh, gang culture, of drug issues, yeah. of knife crime, of yeah. gun crime. And I think before you think of any positive, you thought of 10 yeah, negatives. Yeah. So um, from someone that was born on an inner city estate, wasn't sure, mm -hmm. uh, that has lived on an inner city estate, that runs a business on an inner city estate, and, and he's bringing up a young family yeah. on an inner city estate. I felt that I couldn't sit back and let inner cities decline any more than, than, is, than has already happened. Um, and so looking I've taken a step back and looking at what the problems are in inner city areas. I mean, we, just, we wanted to um, bring the dreams of the youth and the youngsters alive. You know, it wasn't just about putting money into an area. It was about working with the youngsters to see what their ambition, what their aspirations were. Manchester's biggest export is pop stars. So we approached the pop stars. We asked them if we could put youngsters from the estates uh, that would play on the same stage with the pop stars which they agreed to, which was fabulous. I was asked to do Music for Cities last year. I knew about them anyway. I knew they were doing a uh, very, very good cause. And, you know, kids these days need mentoring. They need, everybody needs help. And I think they've done a great job because I used to go to Woodenshore a lot with Paul Carroll in the early days and it was a bit like the Wild West. Uh, and I think that they've brought a sense of purpose to a lot of people. The youngsters that would probably never get the opportunity to perform on a professional stage with a professional musician, but more than that, to so a huge audience, which is what we've pulled off today. Hi Tom, nice to meet you. Um, so you're performing tonight, right? Yeah. What kind of music do you do? I do uh, rap and hip hop. Okay, cool. And how did you get involved in making music and stuff? Um, I've been doing this um, like over 10 years now. I just got into writing when I was 12. So you're from Women's Shores yeah. and you've seen the like, impacts the music specifically has had? Um, yeah, like people who've seen my performance who live in Women's Shores, people who I speak to, wanted to change the content of their music, so mm. to speak, so that they could have a chance of performing on a stage such as Music for Cities. Yeah. Gets a lot of us off the street. Mm. Yeah, a lot of us off the street. Yeah, obviously they use the gym. The studio's in the back now. Mm. Um, I think he does a dancing group for kids. I mean, that gets a lot of the more younger ones who are being directed by the ones mm. who are trying to change their ways. So, yeah, yeah the change stretches back. So, can you say yourself you were involved in anything like gang crime or just? 
uh, years ago, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But not, you know, once you realize what you want to do yeah. with your life and that, you have to change. So, like, uh, young people are now becoming like leaders, like trying to drive this as well. Like leadership's a skill, isn't it? Mm. Um, people like Greg have got it, um, but a lot of the people who want to do it now, mm. who want to lead, it might take them. It could take them a year. It could mm. take them ten years to lead their own. You know but, you have to, yeah, but you can see, yeah, but you can see it developing, yeah, yeah, definitely coming into play. It takes you to actually be like, I'm going to yeah, do to it. Yeah, to be then. your own drive. Yeah, of just having your own drive. As long as you've got your own drive, your own belief, and you're going to believe in yourself and what you do, um, I think you can pretty much mm. do anything. I know it's a cliche thing to say you can do anything, be anything you want, but if you believe in yourself, you mm. can do. I've done it myself. Do you know what I mean? So I can speak from experience. Yeah. Um, and then the invisible side of putting on a, a pop concert is the backline staff. What, what you see in there today is the products of uh, 50 youngsters, all from schools, academies and colleges uh, that we've got together under the supervision of professionals, of course. Uh, but I've uh, put the stage together, I've rigged the lighting systems, I've connected the soundboard and the backline, the complete backline has been put together by youngsters, which is exactly what we wanted to do. We've got youngsters performing in between the acts, which is giving them experience. It's going to raise money for tough areas of not just the Manchester, um, hopefully right across the UK, and it's a great way of raising money. I mean, the thing about the United States of Windsor is they give young people the opportunity to improve their lives, basically get into work, get into sport, get into being fit. We've got three people who work with the band today who actually, they grew up and survived with Ensure. We're just really happy to support such a, a good event and organisation and all the charities that are connected to it. about you now, how did you get involved in this? Driving past my old Methodist chapel in Withenshaw and the chapel had been vandalised almost beyond recognition. There was kids on the roof, there was kids in the ground smashing the windows. I mean, it was an awful sight. And when I was brought up in Sunday school, I was brought up through the church system. So to see my old church being treated in such a manner of disrespect, was, it's, hard to, it's difficult to describe the emotion. There was sadness, there was anger, there was some kind of motivation to do something against it. And I called the kids down, had a bit of a rant and a rave. And there was just one comment made by one of the youngsters, and they were all dressed in black as is the uniform. They all had baseball caps yeah. pulled down, they all had black hoodies on. They all dressed very, very similar. And I said, do you lot realise how intimidating you look? Do you realise as a, as a group of youngsters, I would cross the road to avoid you? And one of them at the back said to me, would you walk about round here on your own? And I thought, what a really deep, grown-up comment to make. I thought, actually, no, I wouldn't. And it was at that point I thought, is this where Woodenshaw is? Is this where we are in Woodenshaw? And it was really at that point I looked at the church and I looked at the energy and I looked at the talent and the genius of that group of, I don't know, 15 or 20 youngsters and thought, if you could bottle that energy, if you could bottle the talent, what could you not do? Now, this is really interesting. I asked if I could have the church on a lease, which they readily agreed. Now, this is interesting because the culture that was destroying the building, and I do, I, I use the word freely, they were destroying the building. That culture, that youth culture, that had seen that building as a target, the same culture with a slightly different direction, then breathed life into the building. And, and the building is the United States, this is what we're fundraising for. We provide facilities that are relevant to the lives of youngsters living on the estate. We identify the real community leaders. We asked them to come together and over a period of time we turned the building around uh, and, and that was just the steering wheel. The energy, the engine, was the young kids that were once destroying the building. And, and now we're, we're a professional gym, we have a cinema, we have a sound recording studio, we've had records in the charts, we've got a dance and performing arts and the chapel is still there and it's very much still a, a live church. <laughs> I've been here at Manchester all day at this Music for Cities concert. I've spoken to a load of people, um, Greg the founder, a few of the young artists that also live in the estate. 
I'm really glad I came and got to see what they're doing and how Music for Cities is doing a big thing for their community, trying to raise funds for something that one guy decided to do himself and gathered his community to do. And if it could be done in I mean, like Manchester, it could be done in London, it could be done in Birmingham, anywhere. And I feel like that's all you need is a big community spirit. I think of uh, Michael Jackson's song and it's like, um, I'm starting with the man in the mirror. Like, be the change that you want to see. And I feel like that's it. If you want to do something, it starts from you and you start, you as a person just think, okay, if I want to make a change, I can do it. If I want to see this change, I'm going to try and do it for myself. I'm going to change the bad things that I'm doing as well. And it encourage others to change as well. So I feel like, yeah, changing it for yourself at first is definitely a big, the biggest impact you can have in your community.